Bwana asifiwe. Our bishop and your our dear mother and all the church leadership, the deputy president of the Republic of Kenya, Rigathi Gashagwa, and all the county leadership na wale wote ambao wamekuja kusoma na sisi katika kanisa ya pefa bwana asifiwe Amen. wale hawanijui na nafikiri mnanijua vizuri sana na naona jensi mko hapa mume occupy occupy permanently pigia ni watoto wetu makofu mambo mengi ambao yanaendelea katika nchi yetu lazima tujue sisi tukiwa wa Kristo na ninasema bila uoga kazi ya kanisa ni kuhakikisha watu wako soba sema soba. soba na hiyo kazi ambayo tulianza ningeomba nyinyi kama jenzis mirenia na wale wote na sisi wote tuone tumeendelea vile tulikuwa tunaendelea ndio tuweze kuwapatia na kazi na ajira ambazo zitawasaidia kwa sababu watu wakiwa walevi katika inchi inchi yezi endelea uchumi wezi endelea na atumia mwekuo maodomaya atumia no tuhote kumarora wega tigwo ciana ici ni sito Ile toti aragia nacio. E toti radetie nacio nao mara toigua. Na gide athuri matire kuo. Maithe. Theine wa thirikali yakitwo nenyina na mwana na ciana icio kanitha na matora. And that is why we are saying it is very important that you emphasize in being local and making sure that where you are you are making sure there is law and order that is kept there is no law and order that can be kept if people are drunk and disorderly we have seen many of our children young men who are in prison today for defilement and they are there for many years kuna watoto wetu ambao mmeona nikienda hivyo tukienda wale tumekuwa tukichangia kuona wametoka kwa 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 mita na tumewapeleka rehabilitation and wengi na niseme kama vile inchi imesema hawataki second lady yawe na budget na ni sawa lakini kazi ya wavulana wa sitawacha <laughs> that is a vision i have it is a passion i have for the boy child yes. i cannot stop because i started even before i was in the office and i believe you and i can be able to make it and i'm asking the church today open your doors to our children let them come into the churches feed them clothe them mentor them disciple them and make sure wako sawa and then even as a church i believe god has blessed us and we can be able to change the lives of our young people they can run here and if we have churches like we have the pefa churches how many 6000 you have 6000 churches 6000 churches of pefa every branch if it was take to take 10 of them how many uh, st- uh, young men will we remove from the streets 600,000 the church has power it has the authority that god gave us to be able to do what we need to do and you young people you can bring other young people that are lost into the church we will mentor them and we will raise that money within ourselves to pay them and they can clean the churches and around here as a pastors and uh, other people help them to overcome drunkenness this far we are very happy because as we are going out to kiona huko nje watoto wetu wana walikuwa wana 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 hiyo order the 
bad smell Waka walikuwa na macho mekundu walikuwa wachafu now i can see something has changed how can it be that somebody somewhere decides to take us back where we have come from apana no this thing must stop and we can we i will not stop because of a budget i believe that we can raise this money ourselves even the young people i saw you raising money to be able to do what you needed to do i would like you to raise money and each one of you take one of your young people and change their minds let them start walking in the path that is righteous i saw the gen z's the real ones the ones who are advocating for the right things i saw them they were supporting each other they were loving each other and they wanted to speak in a mature way and to dialogue with the nation and to tell people there is a need for us not to be corrupt right you wanted us to be responsible and accountable i would also return to them and tell them you need to be accountable to your brothers and sisters who are in the streets and the vulnerable populations it is possible for you young people to be able to mentor one another to care for one another i was very happy when i saw a mature generation that is saying we are of age and we can be able to speak to the to our parents and tell them that we have come of age and nana sema mimi i'm very happy na demo kenu todo hedire atwatura tohoyaga adu o the maroragia e generation ni no e adu aya matimenyaga ori amareka e adu aya marokire na maratwaririe ni maratwaririe ni turaiguire ori amaroiga o asio no mago tuteithia na ari angi niguo mahote kuyariria matige guthie bai sio ona cia higoro mutigathi i'm asking you my sons and daughters do not go to those bars because going to the bar is a decision i may not be able to go there and the few people we have talked to na ari at makoreto na magitikira tuoka twathie medical camps goko kuitu na kenya yothe we have been able to do uh, rehabilitation in patient ya 1200 and they are back with you in the community rehabilitation we have been able to do 4500 and these are decisions the young men um, and women are making to become people that can be productive there is no country that can, can continue to drink being drugs and expect to progress or the economy to be driven our young people are the ones who drive the economy and if the economy is going to get where it should be the country has to be driven by the young people you are the economic drivers uchumi wa kenya you are the drivers and drivers cannot drive when they are drunk and disorderly and as a mother i'm telling you you must change this course talk to your brothers talk to your sisters tell them not to go to those bars now that one who died was it necessary one life lost is too much even the president said that that one life lost is too much we have already lost too many we cannot continue by bringing poisons again and i am very upset today you can see because the work that we have been trying to do is the work somebody else is sitting and planning how to destroy kwa hivyo mimi ningeuliza kanisa we are the pastors god has called us and we have a responsibility we are accountable to these people that is why god called us and we must be fearless when it comes to protecting our children there was a time that young men were being killed by the pharaoh of egypt he didn't want 
the Israelites to multiply. And they were afraid of their numbers. And what they did, they decided only girls were to live. And if you saw that was a satanic agenda to destroy the boy child. And there came five women who stood up. The other thing is to make sure that our children are safe and they are working. And that is why leadership is here, to ensure that we are opening job uh, spaces for our children so that they are not out there idle. And we are working very hard, young men and young women. We are trying our level best. Like those ones, we did the rehabilitation of 1,200. About 500, we have also been able to skill them and to take them to jobs. <laughs> the others are already in a, in, a, uh, in a rehabilitation which come skilling center where they are going to come out tooled to be able to stand for themselves. So I believe that God will provide the resources to, for these young men to be able to finish the skilling and God will connect them to jobs. So I am not worried. Whether there is money or not, I believe God will provide for you. And I believe the church, we are waking up. We wake up to our mandate and do what we must do. If 600 can be taken by PEFA, how much can full gospel take? Another may be 600. The Catholic Church, because we are doing the rehabilitation with the clergy. Even out there in the Muslim world, in Mombasa, the clergy is also taking their boys and making sure that they are out of drunkardness and they are also connecting them to jobs. So there is work that is being done. Sometimes we don't go shouting on pulpits what we are doing because it is our work. And that is what God called us to do. But we are going to speak now to the church as we have been speaking this time. Mfunguem milango wa watoto wetu wa kuje tuajiri. Every church, you can employ two, three, ten, even if it is 500, wacha wakuje wa lime around here. Na waoshe kanisa. Na sisi tuchange hiyo pesa, tukiwa wa, wa, wa umini, tunawalipa. Is that not possible? And we can reduce the unemployment of our children until the government organizes itself and creates the employment that needs to be done. Having said that, I want to say that was a great sermon that you have given to us. Purpose. Define your being. And young people, you have a purpose. And that purpose will define your destiny. And destiny is important to every one of us. If you can be able to know your purpose, and your purpose is to serve. I know my purpose. My purpose is to serve God and to serve his people. And that is why my office, even through Dr. Regazi Foundation, which I've been working, I serve the widows, I serve the orphans, I serve the people with disabilities, and the boy child who is in trouble. And that I will not stop. I will continue. Mutaniona matora ini. And I don't want to do here. Go to, to Migori. You'll find there are widows who are already having fish ponds, which we have helped. And we raised money from people. And they gave us money to do that. Go to Loi Tok Tok. You will find there are women who are already doing uh, the greening of our <laughs> environment. Come here. You'll find there are widows who are working. We have widows in Joro. We have widows everywhere. And we are going to continue working. And I know God will provide. Agekoro aduri are mehaha ne ma provide agira to mia ore. Ni more siya gai no are mo neko he atumia ke the widows. Kerea mage kera na mage huba. Na gai de tu en mwene feather. 
na thavu na migunda na ndegwa iria sie ile maini tamenya ni agotutaithia and young people please please do not go to those bars i ask you i beg you as a mother ali atura kwalirwa nao it was so painful for me when i saw them in withdrawals with withdrawal symptoms amwe mahaishaga rothigo age maredia goko hallucinations and you saw our children in pain somebody going back to, re to return them there i think that is the worst that can happen to a human being and i think it is time that kenya started to change the way it is going let's change course and the ones i can ask young people keep you are lane have the objective focus and make sure you become the economic drivers you are our tomorrow as mothers we are looking up to you we do not have any other future we only have you and don't destroy yourselves allow me now as you stand we welcome the deputy president of the republic of kenya rigathi gashagwa God bless you. God bless you. Asante tafadhali tuketi.